what we've seen in the market is there are many large organizations, many companies that are working towards these new paradigms for how data can be made more private, secure, uh, and when, when it's being exchanged online. Just to take a simple example, um, the European Union very recently talked about using this new paradigm of handling private, uh, private and secure data as a mechanism throughout the European Union block going forwards. Um, so we're excited about developments like that. I think more, uh, more organizations issuing SSI credentials leads to more people demanding it and more people uh, accepting it. What we are specifically interested in and what we, where we hope to cause a flywheel effect is we want to reduce the costs of uh, consuming trusted data. So how can we take the current cost of like doing ID checks, which might be around $10 or $50 or $100 and can be quite prohibitive and, and therefore only working in very specific industries where these get used. Um, how can we get, bring that price point down to a much, much lower cost? Um, and the lowering of like, you know, the cost of consuming trusted data will also reduce the cost structure for creating more trusted data out of it. So as an example, um, banks that already go through a process of doing an ID check or a know your customer check um, will be able to consume and issue these credentials at a much lower cost base. Um, what, we, what we hope that this enables is, is a mechanism where um, organizations are incentivized to release digital data back to the uh, holders of that information. And then um, the, when, the, when, when the holders of that information go use it, um, the issues get compensated and therefore creating what we call the virtuous flywheel of SSI adoption.